D, wait for it. Wait for it. Check out the name tag. You're in my world now, Grandma. What's up, nerds? So this story dropped a little bit uh, ago. And I wanted to go over it a little bit. I wanted to to touch on it and everything. And, you know, maybe I'm late to the game or whatnot, but, you know, whatever. I mean, you know, yeah, I just wanted to give my thoughts. And so I'm going to be looking at this article from comicbookmovie.com just because they, you know, I'll read through it, but they make it easier because they they gathered up all the tweets, the pictures and stuff. And that's what I'm looking for because, uh, you know, I'm trying to wrap this thing up real, real quick and everything. So I just want to say a couple things before I get started on this. The first thing is that um, personally, uh, I don't think that this movie will be that great only because I do not have faith in the writer of this movie. And that is this woman right here, Christina Hodson. I do not think that she's a good writer. Um, in fact, I would go as far to say she's a bad writer. Um, I just don't like, she wrote Birds of Prey. And I think that that movie is a disaster. Um, and then all of, all of her movies is mediocre at best. I'll, I'll be honest with you. It's just, it's just not good. I just don't think that she's, you know, I mean, like, she's ta somewhat talented, but a mediocre at best. Like, I'm sorry, Birds of Prey was, like, arguably her best work. Bumblebee was okay. The other stuff she did, she did, like, one, like, called, like, Locked In or something like that. And then she did one called, like, Unstoppable or Crash. So, I don't know. But she's just not a good writer. So, that's my biggest fear on that. You know, you have Leslie Grace as Batgirl. You know, I didn't think that that was the best choice. Sorry, I was the best choice for the actress, but... It's already done, so I can't change it. So we're moving on. Um, and I'm willing to give her a shot, uh, you know, and everything. But we're going to go through all of these as we read this article and everything. Hey, ads. Okay, so let's do this real quick before, you know, my social security expires. Okay, so it says, Bad Girl set photos seemingly confirmed that Robin is a part of the DCEU. Some more photos from the Glasgow set of the HBO Max Bad Girl movie have been shared online, and these snaps seemingly confirm that the version of Robin does indeed exist in the DCEU. Take a look. It says, oops, sorry, sorry. It says, earlier today, photos from the Glasgow set of Batgirl gave us a first look at star Leslie Grace as Bat, uh, Barbara Gordon. Um, and some intriguing new snaps have now been shared online. Now been shared online. These photos show a uh, mural featuring Batman and Robin seemingly confirming that the Bat Boy Wonder is indeed part of the DCEU. We know that uh, an incarnation of the character exists in the Snyderverse before being killed by the Joker. But this is almost certainly supposed to be a different version of the Dark Knight's young sidekick. Okay, so then we get these first ones. It says, does this mean Robin will actually feature in the movie? We haven't heard any rumors to suggest as much, but we know Michael Keaton's take on Batman will appear, so it's certainly possible. Now, this one says right here. Now, if you look at this, this says... Hold up, hold on a second. The mural is one of the dynamic duo, Batman and Robin, uh, and Batgirl. And if you look at this, this this Batman right here just looks like my, my Michael Keaton's Batman more than um, uh, Ben Affleck's Batman. And so, um, so they say in here that there there haven't been there they haven't heard any rumors to this suggest as much that this is actually going to be in the movie, but, um. Grace Scooper, Grace Randolph, and YouTuber Grace Randolph, she tweeted this out and says, okay, look into, uh, looking into this, one of my sources says there will be a Robin cameo leading into Nightwing movie looking into this further developing Batgirl. And she she retweeted this with this this tweet that I'm just showing you right now. And then this guy who I just recently started following, uh, My Time to Shine Hello, says it's true. Warner Brothers found their Robin slash Dick Grayson. Batgirl will help to set up the Nightwing movie. So I look at this and I say uh, confirmed, you know what I'm saying? Um, because that guy does have a good track record as of, of right now. So I think that... Um, and, and then I, Grace Randolph, I, I did a video on her. Uh, you can check that out. But I think that her track record as far as scoops go is also solid. So then they give us a closer look. And this looks like it's fader or whatever. But this looks like the classic Batman and Robin that we get. 
from the comics and everything. In fact, somebody I think put up a a whole thing of it. But I I do um, I do like this. I wish it was Ben Affleck's Robin. I'm not sure how they're going to do that. Apparently, the uh, Flash movie is going to you know work all this in. I'm not sure how they're going to do it. I don't know if they're going to do. I I don't I don't know if I I, I don't have faith that they're going to do it well. But we'll see. We'll see. So then moving on, it says uh, Batgirl will also star J.K. Simmons as Jim Gordon and Jacob uh, Scapio and Brendan Fraser in undisclosed roles. The latter is believed to be playing the villainous Firefly. He is playing Firefly. Uh, Let's see. It says Loki composer Natalie Holt. Uh, recently announced that she's signed on to work on the movie score while Christina Hodson, ugh, who wrote Bumblebee and also worked on Birds of Prey and The Flash penned the most recent draft of the script. So then we also get some stuff on here. So we also, I'm not going to read this whole article right here, but uh, come on. So then we also right here, on the set we also get any idea who this dude is that features on the gotham city billboard getting hung up on the batgirl set and that is dr hugo strange um now i just have to say i like hugo strange as a bad guy in the batman universe so it'll be interesting to see if he's like in here or if this is just like a little easter egg that they're throwing up um i'm not quite sure um, I think it's very interesting if they do bring in um, uh, um, uh, Dr. Strange, not Dr. Strange, uh, Dr. Hugo Strange. It's Dr. Hugo Strange. It'll be interesting to see if they bring him in. So, um, yeah, hold on. Let me just go back. All right, you guys. So tell me, what do you guys think about this news? Are you happy that Robin is coming in? Um, You know, nobody could confirm who they were casting as Batman. I mean, as Robin slash Nightwing. Um, You know, I don't know. um, Why is that showing up? Um, I don't know. uh, You know, I don't have any fan theories. I don't like fan casting anymore because people get on to you about it and they, uh, they can be really, you know, problematic about it. But tell me what you guys think about this. Do you like this? Do you not like this? What do you think of the Batman thing? Do you wish it was Ben Affleck's Batman? Do you think it's Keaton's Batman? Um, Yeah, go ahead and leave all your comments in that section down below. If you like this video, go and hit that like button. You know, I won't mind if you're new to my channel. Please hit that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. I will see you guys on the next video. You guys have a good day. Bye.